Hey, this is another episode of Candace Michelle Views, where I give my opinion on what I am viewing on any mainstream media platform that you could think of. Um, so today I'm going to go over Ray J. Um, so recently he was in the news um, where he was meeting with Trump. And I just thought, um, why not just make a video of uh, the other people that he's playing that um, people have always had stated before but i just wanted to do my own video um so yes yeah, so we're gonna see that um obviously a lot of people have been saying ray j has been playing the role of kanye west and um as you can see um it's very detailing that uh this most likely is the same person if not definitely uh <laughs> you know Kanye is definitely having some type of prosthetic going on like that middle part of the lip is just something is definitely not right with it um they have the same eye you know and uh mouth so okay it's starting early <laughs> okay okay um so I believe that he's also playing, Ray J is also playing the role of Reggie Bush as well. So this is going to be a trilogy going on. Um, so as you know, Ray J has been in the game for a long time um, due to his sister also uh, seeming like uh, it's a family business uh, where his sister is also in the business as um, Brandy, everyone knows. And uh, they seem very close. Uh a little bit too close if you ask me um where uh recently they said ray j has gotten brandy's name tattooed on him but you know siblings do do that it's pretty big but um then it has the number like 30 and things near it I, you know i don't know but okay and it looks very fake as you can see like um as I showed you how fake tattoos tend to stand out more bright than a real tattoo would um, but yeah, this whole family of uh, is definitely involved in the game and uh the mother is um also an actor stage role. I believe she plays a lot of mothers in the game, like such as like Rihanna or Nicki Minaj, and I believe all those mothers play are like actually the same person. Um you know, they all play the same role. Rihanna's mother, Nicki Minaj's mother, I believe it's all the same lady, including her. But that's for a different day. Probably wouldn't do a video on it, but just to mention that these parents, you know, are, are professional actors as well. Okay, and um, <clears throat> yeah, so they're all connected by uh, Kim Kardashian. Uh, as you can see, it was a lot of pictures already together, uh, having them together. So I didn't really have to put anything together separately. Um, but one moment there, this guy just fell. Okay, one moment. get something one second sorry yep yeah, so <coughs> excuse me yeah so they're all connected by kim kardashian and um yep yeah, and also reggie bush so all three are connected in the same circle as always that's usually where they get the different characters to be able to get away with playing the same role because they have the same circles where they will make it seem like they are different people. Um, and a lot of people don't notice that they're literally in the same circle with the same people because it's the same person. So Ray J just recently met with Trump and <coughs> people were saying they did, <coughs> excuse me, people were saying they didn't know why <laughs> he just met with Trump. And, um, you know, obviously so did Kanye at some point when he was getting MK Ultra. Um, oh. uh, yeah, he was, he was also meeting with Trump. So that just made me like, 
do the video because I said, you know, they're just making it obvious that, you know, that Ray J is playing the role of Kanye West. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I'm going to push through. So, so anyway, so as you know, they're all actors. Uh, as you can see, he's pu putting his pointers up. Um, and as you can see, J Ray J is a big actor as well. This was like a big thing that people were... Bro, what you talking about? We all want crew. Me, you, A1. Where his hat, his hat just continued to change. I don't know what brother, people think is going on. You said that, look, you told A1 ditches like me. He can't even be crazy. Just say it to me. Whatever happened, whatever happened with me and Lyrica shouldn't have happened. I didn't do nothing. What was it? What was it? Like, it had to be something. Bro, all I did, it just was conversation, and I accidentally sent her a different type of picture. You sent her the picture that everybody looking at right now? You were savage. I've been hearing about you. No, I've been not. hearing about you, fam. You being accused of sexual acts with other people's wives. Now, you see how he literally let his hat change like 15 different times in his clip. So, obviously, you can see there that he's he's part of playing the game. <clears throat> he's definitely part of play, playing the game. And, obviously, you hear he's like asking him about sexual acts and stuff. It always comes to that because, you know, they're all about the, the sexual um, push of porn and things of that nature because they're all sex slaves. They come from the sex game yourself at a very young age. <clears throat> as young as like these ages where they have them grow up into this uh whatever they you want to call it society <laughs> and you know they all are part of the game and they play it and they also like to play it with putting oh, on ass. putting well, the hat on Bro, what you with about? Uh, a lot yeah, of different I'm positions cool. Me, you, without I, like safari laughing or anything they just continue to skit like that so you see like this is just a big show they're all um uh comedians um so we're gonna go on the timelines of their uh their careers so you can see like kind of the lineup of how it all kind of goes together somewhat way um as you know uh <clears throat> we kind of got introduced to ray j from moesha and his name was Dorian Long, which is kind of sounds like a porn name, if you ask me. Uh, but I'll just leave it alone since this was like him very young starting in the show. Um, Moesha, he was in season five. <clears throat> Let me find that. Excuse me. Um, he was in season five where that began and aired in 1999. As you can see, they say what year did season of five of Moesha star and that was in 1999 for Ray J that's when we first got it introduced to him so Kanye West's uh <laughs> college dropout debut album came out in 2004 but they said he was working and got signed by Jay-Z from 2009 to 2000 excuse me 1999 the same year that we got introduced to Ray J here goes Kanye just starting his career in 99 and then to do 2003 where he recorded his first out al breakout album and it aired in 2004 now keep these timelines together where um reggie bush uh in 2005 he wins the heisman tro trophy okay so we got kanye and him kanye and this guy they're all their timelines it's just like they're all actors playing this role all within this timeline where he's all if you can understand where he's coming out of 99 then of course ray j is known for his hit song one wish which was also in 2005 so you see he has his hit album he breaks out he breaks out 2005 2004 2009 when they first came out in 99 so you see what i'm saying so now <clears throat> kanye says he first I first met Kim, I think, in 2002 or 2003. Um, he said that they was recording a song. He was record. He was recording a song with Brandy, and I was her friend. Okay, so Kanye is basically saying he was introduced to Kim, saw Kim through Brandy, and was saying one day I'm gonna make that my girl. 
mind you, I don't know why would he be saying this because in, in during that time frame, you know, um, Ray J, you know, obviously Kim was assisting Ray J and Ray J's sister Brandy, where she was accused of stealing. That was like her little embarrassing scandal um, ritual where Kim was accused of stealing from Brandy. <clears throat> then um, comes in uh, known for dating Ray J in 2005 and 2007, where, of course, the infamous sex tape leaks, uh, which was very boring. Um, but, of course, because of um, at the time frame, it, it made Paris Hilton so famous and gave her a little show. Of course, Kim came um, right behind her um, and not because of them being friends, just because this is just uh, what they were born to do. They were going to lead <clears throat> the, the reality pack. They were always going to be a part of the entertainment world. Um, they're, they're, they're socialized. They're, they're born into it. They have no talent. Um, so <clears throat> the talent is to <clears throat> make you believe that they're more important than what a regular person would you would consider, an average person, you would... Their their skin their talent is to scam you into thinking they're more have something more value than that and it's and it's not nothing there especially when you meet them in person you would think you know some of them you're not even you know thinking uh no way this is a celebrity but anyway so Ray J meets dates Kim between 2005 2007 and 2000. In seven, they have a big mixtape where they made fourteen million dollars. That was her little big hit off, and then she moves on to um, <clears throat> dating Reggie Bush in two thousand and seven. The same year, her her mixtape, her leaks, her sex tape leaks out, which is weird because somebody that's you know doing so well like Reggie Bush, you would think you know why wife up Kim when I he just met her as he said he met her at an Etsy. He met her at an Etsy award um, after being introduced by a mutual friend. Um, and then their romance showcased on the premiere of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So you can, you can see how this uh, person, Reggie Bush, already is made for TV. Um, and already um, most of his broke, broke, only time we really ever really heard or, you know, much about Reggie Bush was after he started dating Kim Kardashian other than him you know winning the Heisman he didn't really have nothing else big until he started dating Kim and then I think he won the Super Bowl uh, that year and then he disappeared so um we're gonna go through that timeline of 2007 interviewing from the sex tape into re the Reggie Bush character where he was on the show with Kim from 2007 to 2010 and I would loosely say he was on there for three seasons, but literally two, the first season he was there, the second season we barely saw him, the third season they were broken up. Okay, so um, from 2010, we're going to keep the timeline of when Kanye um, showed up <clears throat> on the Keeping Up with the Kardashian show. So you see the interlude of Ray J being on, <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't make this up. Do you see the timeline of when Ray J was on the sex tape with her to Reggie Bush going, making his debut with her to get high ratings? And then the show kind of wasn't making that much great ratings. So they actually started making Kim go with Chloe. It was like, I think Kim with Courtney first. Kim takes Courtney and Miami. They just started switching up, I guess, because they wanted to see how the ratings were for certain people, with certain, you know, grouping them up. Now, because I felt like that, to me, feels like a tanking situation where you're splitting the show up, where something's going on, um, this is where Kanye starts to make his debut. And people were starting to say, what are they, dating? In 2010, he makes his premiere where Courtney takes Miami, or takes New York in 2010, and Kanye makes his premiere there where the ratings came back up. So you see this collab that they did with this trilogy guy of Ray J. Look at what Ray J has done. Talented actor, okay? He has taken him, you know, this is this was over Starbucks they in in, in Brandy's studio, okay? They, they done took, she done took off. That's why he, you know, and then you think that he didn't take off, but Ray J is still in the game. You know, like I said, there's no such thing as really any money. You would think they have a lot of money, but it's just probably the level in the clearances. Like, oh, she's one point billion, which means like, oh, well, you know, it's unlimited of 
whatever she's asking for you know and on you know so that that's what really is going on so it's not really like she took off they both ate like fat rats and we'll get to what money they have um but i just wanted to show you these timelines of when ray j the character started to develop in 99 and then the hit of all three of their careers in 2005 and then also the demise of him leaving in 2010 so he um so he got his trophy take it away for his two his trophy that was given to him in 2005 reggie bush it was taken away in 2010 now i don't know if this is a coincidence or not once he's breaking it up with her and she's getting with kanye and then his trophy's getting taken away now and he kind of disappears from life and people get pictures of him here and there we see him but i don't think this character is around anymore it's possible that they could give this character somebody else that may look similar to him and say hey we got this character laying around go run with it take some pictures around with some you know whatever i don't know what they do with these people i don't know if he, if kanye still or ray j still runs off and plays the role of reggie bush when reggie bush gets photo once out the blue moon um but um yeah as you can see this timeline is pretty um weird where they're all meeting up in these we the, the the year of 99 with with ray j and kanye just debuting getting you know becoming and then in 2005 all three of them and then 2010 a lot of things are happening for all of them and now um of course now ray j goes on to um, cause we're, now I'm looking like, well, what's going on with Ray J? Um, now that Kanye has taken over the Kim situation in 2010 of dating in 2012, um, Ray J was known for being with Whitney right before she died. Supposedly been there the day she died saying that that was him coming out, but I don't know. No one could confirm it. You know, that's TMZ, blah, 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 blah. Uh, fake news uh, outlets and I really don't dwell on the stories too much because um, a lot of it is um, fa fabricated because these are not real situations. A lot of this is um, actor uh, scripted out immigrants um, playing the roles and most likely sometimes probably going back to the country or somewhere where they know they're not going to be noticed. Uh, probably do plastic surgery, change things. Who knows? It's, uh, it happens a lot. They do it with like protected custody situations. So I would not see any difference of what whether they they do it as well. Um, so he's known for dating Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston dies, overdose, drugs, supposedly hanging out with Ray J. Okay, supposedly hanging out with Ray J. The way she's holding his hip and the way he's smoking whatever is making me think that it's accurate accurate um, news that you know he was supposedly connected to her around her death. <clears throat> um, so here go Ray J say he blames himself for Whitney's death with the Fiji water right here. Very weird, um, weird um, title to, to say. Um, why would you think that? Um, and then as you know, recently he was connected to being seen with Whitney. And as you can see with that bag, he got that on him. Like, so we gotta understand that Ray J might be a pusher. Okay, in the, the, the community. And uh, she, she, they're, they're like well aware of it. Look at them. They look, they look out of their mind high. Okay, and he got another round of Ultra. And um, I don't know what they gave her. Okay, him, whatever. <laughs> whatever, that, whatever this is. Like, look at their legs. Like, I don't know what this is. Okay, not human. All right, um... So, you can see that Ray J is most likely a pusher in Hollywood. Um, so, now, in 2014, Kanye marries Kim. And then, it's weird because I said, well, let me see what year Ray J got married and Reggie Bush got. Well, I, I looked up Ray J and then they gave me Reggie Bush. So, they gave me Reggie Bush. I, already, I just looked up Kanye. It was like the computer knew that you know, or connected them. This is what they do sometimes for some reason. So Reggie Bush got married in 2014 as well. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, 2014, so May 2014, then he got married in July. So Kanye and Reggie Bush got married at the same time around the same month, okay? Which I think is very 
eerie, probably because they're the same person. Um, so, uh, and Ray J got married two years after. And um, as you can see, um, Reggie Bush and, and Kanye getting married at the same time around the same, like a month after each other. And then you got this made for TV family. Look like they had the same exact family. You know, you can't really tell the difference between a family. All right. They're just missing one more girl. So um, a lot of people said that Reggie Bush dated somebody that looks exactly like Kim Kardashian. I think it is Kim Kardashian. Don't be fooled. Um, they got her in bodysuit. It's obvious. They're all porn stars. So they just made her look more porny. Um, her porn star role. Uh, and they're both porn stars, you know, actually, but t technically, but you know, they're all coming from the porn star, um, realm. They all do every, they got to do, do all acting bids. They're going to keep them working. Okay. So this is basically just Kanye and Kim. And this is basically Kanye and Kim slash AKA Ray J. Um, and as you can see, this is, uh, <coughs> Reggie Bush with his daughter looking just like Kanye with his daughter. So you got to understand that North is was always going to be the one to play the role. I don't think they, I think they just gave, like these little two boys look like twins. They just gave them anybody for the boys. But North is playing the role of the older daughter. And that's why Kanye is making a big deal out of North. And they're already having her making money already. She's already like doing little the gigs and they already have her on TMZ about, a, you know, feuding over her about TikTok and she's already, so, you know, she's obviously this is not by accident. This is by design. So North was always going to be put in the frame and they have her working extremely hard already because she's playing the role of Reggie's daughter's daughter and also her own, her own role as Kanye daughter. Um, so as you can see, Ray J files for a divorce um, of 2000, at the end of 2020. And then here goes Kim following behind Ray J in January of two, 2000. So September 2020, Ray J files for divorce. And then to January 2021, Kim files for a divorce. Um, you can see that this is a big scam. They're all in it together. They're all playing the same roles. They may have princess. They may have uh, other kids uh twins playing added in but most of these people are doubling up some of the roles um and playing du duplicate roles and triplet roles and this is the reason why it's a big payday and as you can see she's she's throwing up producers like you know I'm, I'm i have a big you know title here you know my my title is big in this world i have a big stamp um my currency is seriously big you know i want to be you know, immortalized and put into the realm of a celebrity, you know, a, a, a you know, a big, so, you know, not just a regular, so like what do they, legend or whatever you he, they want to be, they're trying to or are whatever. And what they're saying they're worth is made up money. Cause obviously both of them can't be worth 1.8 billion. This is so scripted, but they're both putting on such a big show. That's why they're both in the lead with so much money as of right now. They're just putting on such a big spectacle, um, which uh, Kim always was always us uh, were going to do. Um, as you can see, she, she's a socialite. She doesn't have any real talent. So um, yeah, so Reggie Bush, obviously he's, he's worth, they say, 25 million um ray j's coming in at 14 um of course brandy she she was the interlude at the very beginning um where she's worth 12 million um they all played a part into this big circle of money that they accumulated in entertainment uh scripted uh stuff that they p pushed away with all the fake drama and um things that of course circled uh, around uh kim um, and that's why Kim has the most uh, notoriety out of all of them because she really pushed the envelopes um, with uh, this role that she played. Uh, so, yeah, so Reggie Bush, he was born in 85 of March. Um, and they say he's about six foot. And, you know, Ray J, he's a January Capricorn <laughs> handler, drug dealer. Uh, who knows all, you know, he's the one that's actually playing the role. He's the one that is, um, the, the main character that was born into this. Um, yep. And that's why he has this, uh, birth date most likely as well. And supposedly the age of 41, which, um, 
I mean, he doesn't really look it, but yeah, I guess. And I'm assuming uh, Reggie Bush is younger than him, but you know, they're all around the same age. Um, Ray J is supposed to be coming at 5'7", and of course Kanye is 5'8". Um, and he is the oldest out of them all, being born in 77. And he's a Gemini, which follows behind a January Capricorn, because a January Janus, Pan Janus with the two heads, interludes into a Gemini with the two heads as the sign. So as you can see why these two roles have been dueling back and forth together through the whole, the whole bit. Uh, because uh, him being a January Capricorn... Um, Pan Janice with the, the, the double head and then Kanye being a Gemini which uh, their sign is also uh, with the two-faced. So you see how those roles interlude together. Um, and uh, yeah, so I don't see uh, where um, yeah, so let's, we can listen to the voices now and compare the faces of the pictures and you know that's all I really have but as you can see that this did their whole career circles together just like everybody else videos that I do I mean I don't do these videos for no reason when I do do a lot of these videos once I see a lot of these things where it, it links together and it's really no other information and, and other information if I miss it'll just make it more you know it just adds more on to the video that I've done so it just makes it seems obviously that even even if they're not the same people, what kind of weird um, scripted, what, what kind of way how they figure out where these people, where they look alike and all these things and their careers kind of circle around each other. And they all are like born and being in the same areas, you know, like as far as um, their careers and everything. Um, yeah, so anyway, let's compare the voices. Um, here. Yeah, so <laughs> okay, I don't know. Yeah. 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 This is a random question. This is way over here. I'm trying to get some words out of my mouth right now. They ain't coming out, right? Like, if you look at Reggie Bush, he looks very masky. Like, very masky. Let's look at him and Kanye. Him and Kanye. Ways. Him and Kanye voice is identical. And Ray J, the, the video that I picked for Ray J, Ray J voice could get very high pitched just like theirs. I just didn't pick a very good video because like I didn't feel like looking. But you know, they didn't really match no, that well. <laughs> but you still could see the similarity even though he looks very masky. But his voice was very low for some reason in this video. Even though Ray J's voice could get very high pitched as you remember his songs. His songs are very high pitched, so we know his voice is very high pitched. I don't know why it sounds so low here, but when you compare it with Kanye, his voice is identical with Kanye's. Communicate this product. You can make money. And teams are product. starting to find ways to slow him down. Sorry, I can't speak. It's cold as hell. Like. <laughs> teams are starting to find ways to slow him down. Sorry, I can't speak. Now, did you see that? Did you catch that? Communicate this product. You can make money. And teams are starting to find ways to slow him down. Sorry, I can't speak. It's cold as hell. Like. <laughs> teams are starting to find ways to slow him down. Sorry, I can't speak. Identical. Yeah, uh, I believe that is very his his very basky, but as you can see, both their cheeks, both their cheeks. You know, it looks exactly the same. Okay. It's a random question. This it's, 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 it's way it's over here. Gaga. She's the creative director question. of Polaroid. Fellas, don't lie. I like some of the Gaga songs. Fellas. What the fuck does she know about cameras? All right, so everybody got something to say. If you can communicate this product, like, you can make money off the product. Shower, I'm like, man, I Cause look at Gaga, she's the creative director one, of Polaroid. The kids got one. But I like some of the Gaga songs. Own. What the fuck does she uh, know about cameras? And you see how Kanye tried to make a joke, and Ray J always tries to make jokes. So, you know, uh, even though Kanye has more of a, a, a more temperament, 
type behavior, but they both have the same like same kind of uh temperament behavior where at one point Ray J Ray J threw Princess in the pool at one point when he was all you know, temperamented. So you know, I didn't even have to look at many pictures. I didn't have to put too many pictures together because there's a lot of pictures already online with them already together. Because um, as I stated, a lot of people have already stated they are the same person. Um, if not the same person, definitely uh, in the same family group, same whatever bud line, whatever they have going on where they won't let this uh, circle where they're not letting anyone in but their family, but they expect people to support them. Yeah, quick rant. But um, yeah, um, so all from the same country, whatever. Um, I don't really see, I don't know exactly um, how, um, what they are. Cause as you can look at Kanye's uh, mother and you know, um, Ray J's mother, you could tell they're somewhat island, um, island-y. So I'm not sure exactly what though. Um, yeah, so, but, and you know, it looked like Ray J's father possibly could be black. You know, I already told you most of them be mixed. Um, and Kanye West, father possibly could have been black but they could have got rid of him they usually make make uh when they're when they're mixed sometimes they get rid of them they say like they're drunk they this and that it's probably true but anyway because that's what has succumbed to a lot of black people over the situations of what these celebrities have done um helping to reduce us to what we are today and keeping the wall over our eyes by keeping us entertained with a bunch of crap and following a bunch of stuff, meaningless things. Um, so this is why we are attacking and, 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 and showing you the real them instead of you guys always watching just shows and not really paying attention to what they really are about. We need to really dig deep of who are they. So, um, yeah, so here we go again. I like, we need to question what, why don't we see you guys in the same room? Why, have, why haven't we seen none of these people in the same room? Why haven't we um, seem to have been in any kind of entertainment? Like, you know, this has too, been too long where everyone is just keeping away from each other in their, in their little corners, but it's such a tight, small, Hollywood is such a tight, small knit uh, group. So it just doesn't make any sense at all. It's just, it's just weird. And, and it obviously it's not weird. It's because these people are playing the double more than one role or some type of weird thing like that going on you know and they're not explaining to us exactly how that role works where they're changing you know you know Kanye West faces or you know from what they say a car accident but um you know and I see you know they say college dropout and things of that nature and of course Ray, Reggie Bush was a college football player and things of that nature um, yeah, so very similar uh, features, but it just looks like Kanye has more additives and Reggie Bush looks like he has the same look as Kanye where the face is more chubbier, um, where they added more additives. I don't know. Very similar. I think Reggie Bush looks more of uh, closer to Kanye because they're using the same prosthetics that Kanye used when they make Ray J into Kanye. You know, it look like this mold, these molds is just fake. It just, you know, it just doesn't look something just not. And this is like Reggie Bush now. Like they got the fake hair on him and they like, cause this doesn't even look like natural hair. Like it just doesn't look like somebody's hair naturally. You know, it just looks like fake stuff. Okay. Like even with like Ray J it just looks like weird. Like his face looks a little patchy. Like glue. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, same same person. It looked like Trump. Trump is a different person, right? Weird. Yeah. So um, that's all I really have on them. Um, this is the trilogy. The trilogy of Ray J and his many hats. Um, his long career of him playing in a role, and he's definitely part of the game. Um. He has um, been doing this for a long time and Kanye is definitely, um, you know, pulling the wool over everyone's head, trying to play, uh, make it seem like he's this concerned father and this and that when he's not really actually related to any of these children. Um, and he's actually uh, playing all the roles. Ray J is actually playing all the roles of these characters. So that's all I really have. Um, so...
um yeah um let me know what you guys think um i do read all you guys comments so if, especially if it has more information pertaining to the video that really makes my day when i read some stuff that i feel like that i wish it was in the video because it just adds on to more information that i you know wish was in the video so uh, like share subscribe try to share it out if anything this whole point is to put in them on the real pedestal which should be in a garbage can and we should be canceling them um yeah and um enjoy the rest of you guys night